Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to keep working on the new features included in Studio One 5.1. Uh, the new features that we're going to be showing you today are going to be really useful when you're producing a song from scratch. Okay, um, so the first one is the retrospective recording function. Retrospective recording is a new concept included in, in version 5.1 of Studio One that lets you retrieve some information, in this case MIDI information, that you have played but you haven't necessarily recorded. And when would you need this? Well, let's say you're jamming, right? Let's say that you have a synth track like the one that I have here and it's record enabled and you're just jamming, you know, you're just playing with your keyboard and trying to get new sounds like You know, you're playing chords and things like that, or maybe you're just playing like individual notes. Like an arpeggio, right? And maybe you even have like a guitar player in the room and you're just jamming, playing with each other and things like that. And then let's say that you're playing and you found an arpeggio that you liked. And you're like, man, that sounds great. I wish we had recorded that because now I can't play it. And you can't find the notes for whatever reason. And you're like, well, I guess that's lost. We're going to have to write something new. Well, it's actually not lost. You can actually retrieve that thing that you just played with a single click. Just one button that you have to play. Where is it? Well, as soon as you finish playing it, you can go to your inspector of that track. And down here there is retrospective recording. You can see it's like a red circle. You click on it and check what happens. Boom. A new event was created that has some mid information. As you can see, here are some chords. And then here, like in the, you know, individual notes, if we zoom out. Here's our very last, the last thing we played is here, right? That arpeggio pattern that I was doing. Here it is. Let's let's go ahead and press play to listen to it, just to make sure that that's the one that we had played. And yes, that's the one. So we'd literally just retrieve what we have played because what happens is that Studio One was recording in the back, some kind of buffer behind the scenes. So every time you press retrospective record, that buffer releases that information to you. So you can literally now, you know, drag this here, drag here, and then take it back. And here is your part. Um, now, keep in mind, we didn't record to a click or anything. We're, we're just jamming. But now, at least, you have the notes. You can literally, you know, double-click it. And maybe, um, if you go hit your, your piano roll, you could edit those notes if you wanted. At least now you have them before you didn't. So, that's very useful right there. Now, another feature that I wanted to show you today... That's going to be helpful when you're producing and, you know, making like demos and uh, scratch ideas and things like that. It's related to Empire and the pedal board inserts. So if we go to our mix view, our console, you can see here I have a guitar one track and a guitar two track. Okay, the guitar one track has Empire set and the guitar two has the pedal board, which is empty. So let's say you have your Empire and... You know, you have your amp there, and your cab, and let's say this is your tube screamer, some drive there, maybe not that much level, and then you have another pedal here, let's say your fat, fat pedal, distortion, filter, right, that's there, and then you have your delay and your chorus, okay, good, so... Let's say that you like the way this chain of pedals sound, okay? You're like, yes, I like this tube screamer followed by the fat, and then the chorus, and then the delay. But I wish I could have that in my pedal board on my Guitar 2 track, which is empty right now. Well, back in the day, you literally had to go and open your Empire and check, okay, well, the first pedal is the Tube Screamer, and that's where the drive is at 44%, and then the level is at 32 and then the tone is at 46%. So you would have to go to your pedal board and then add that pedal and configure it to match the settings. 
Well, that takes a little bit of time, especially when you have one, two, three, four paddles. You would have to do that four times. Well, now you can do it with a single click as a drag and drop operation. How do you do it? Well, here we go. Here's my empire. I'm going to go ahead and pin that here so it doesn't close. And then I'm going to open my pedal board. I'm going to pin it too. And you can simply click and drag. Boom. There's my tube screamer. The exact same parameters, the exact, exact same configuration. Literally, it's almost like copying and pasting it, but you're actually clicking and dragging. The same with the fat, same with the chorus. And by the way, I'm going to rearrange them. So, And then here's my delay. So, as you can see, we literally just copied and pasted by clicking and dragging the same effects or the same uh, stomp boxes that we had in our Empire plugin into the pedal board. Now you could, I mean, you can now save this, let's say, as a preset that you could later use anytime. And it'll be the exact same sound every time um, again, right? So this is useful, especially when you're writing songs from zero, like you're, you're demoing stuff, right? Because you want to have some kind of consistency. So when you use the same pedal board, you know, okay, well, this is the way I typically use my tube screamer, my fat, my chorus, and my delay. So why not just saving it and keeping it? So yes, those are the features that I wanted to show today uh, regarding the recording and production of demos that I think are really useful. Uh, stay tuned for the next tutorials on the new features of Studio One 511 from Obedient PC Audio Labs. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using... All of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.